Today we are looking at Chilton Library. Uh, this is a fantastic tool that offers information on most makes and models of cars, some ranging all the way back to 1940. Um, it helps users maintain and repair their vehicle. Um, so some of the content includes step-by-step -step service and repair procedures, wiring diagrams, uh, troubleshooting guides and diagnostic trouble codes, and finally, if you are an aspiring mechanic, there's actually test prep materials for the Automotive Service Excellence Certification Test um, directly cooked into the resource. Uh, so to get started, we want to go to ohiowebliberary.org, and we want to look underneath the DIY Resources and How-To Guides. That's going to be our first tool right here. So from our home page, we have a few different options. Uh, the easiest way to get started is to just use this vehicle selector prompt here to fill in the information we need about our car. OK, um, but we can also go to this ASE test prep quizzes, which will give us that information um, about the automotive services uh, excellence certification. Um, there is also a help button here, which I highly recommend using, especially um, some of the terms that are used in here, since this is a DIY tool, can be fairly technical and a little bit um, jargony. So this is a great resource for that. It'll actually walk you through where to get to different types of content throughout the resource. Um, we can log out here too, which will just exit uh, the program. But lastly, and this is kind of a hidden thing unless you hover over it here, um, you can ask an expert about either the content on the resource, like how to find certain types of information on the resource, or also just like um, if you have a certain car issue and you're not finding that information, you can ask an expert about that as well. Um, so you can click there and you're able to attach your email and comments and somebody will get back to you. So let's get started though. Um, with a particular scenario that I'll let you guys kind of see how the resource works. So let's say that uh, my battery just quit working in a 2010 Ford Focus, right? And we need to um, remove the old one and install a new one, right? Without electrocuting ourselves, hopefully. So first we're going to begin by selecting the year and I have a 2010 Ford. and focus. So we'll click select and this next page it's going to bring us to a page that will kind of tell us about um, what type of data is available um, for that particular make, model, and year. Um, so for some of the cars there'll be much much less information, for some there'll be much much more. So it kind of uh, it varies based upon whatever car you're looking for basically. Um, so we can see I have the option to look at stuff for repair, maintenance, labor estimating, and bulletins and recalls here. Um, that information is also going to be replicated in the header and that will stay as long as you are logged in. So whatever page you go to you're able to quickly jump to each of those two from that little uh, heading there. Um, so repair will give us the information that we're looking for for this removal and installation of this new part um, and can also help us repair other parts throughout the car. Um, maintenance offers recommended maintenance schedules for uh, each of the parts in your vehicle. So it'll tell you at certain mileage in intervals like when you need to replace certain things. Um, labor estimating will tell you about how many man hours it should take um, to replace a certain thing or to fix a certain thing in your car and that can help you kind of figure out how much you want you're, you're expected to spend on that particular thing. Um, and lastly this is really important bulletins and recalls here. So if there's any official um, notice that's been sent out by the car manufacturer either regarding like the safety of a certain part of the car or a mandatory recall you can find that information here um, and if there's anything else that the manufacturer releases too you're also able to find that here but we are focused on trying to get this 2010 ford focus up and running again so let's click the repair button here to get started so we can see on this next page, it's going to bring us to this table of contents here. Um, there's two ways for me to get to the content I'm looking for regarding this battery. Uh, if I am savvy enough to know where these different things might fall, these different parts that I'm interested in might fall in this table of contents, I can go in through here. So 
here's engine electrical, here's battery system, and here's information regarding the battery. And then from here I can do removal and installation. And then even more specific here, um, here's battery and battery tray. So if I'm interested in seeing a view of um, how that all fits together with not only the battery, but the battery tray, um, here's information about the battery cables and the battery tray itself, right? But we're interested just in removing that battery. So we'll click there. And this is going to take us uh, directly to the resource here. Um, I want to show you guys another way to get that content as well, though. So if I were to go back to that main page, I am still able to search for this information, too, by just typing in battery. But I want to show you that the results are going to be a little bit different. So instead of kind of walking us through that hierarchy of um, how to get to that particular part of the resource, uh, it's going to give us results on different types of uh of hits basically that we got for that keyword. So we can see these are section titles that include the keyword that we searched for, battery. We also can see a list of images that have that keyword in it. And finally, if it occurs anywhere um, in the information about that particular year, make, and model, um, we can find that uh, in the text anywhere from, from this tab here. So any results that has the word battery in it will basically show up under that list. So we are still just interested in the battery, so we'll go in through here. And for move on installation. And just the battery. So from our reading view here, we have a few different options. Um, we can print the resource directly from here, or print the document directly from here. Um, we can also listen to the document, have it be read to us by ReadSpeaker. So I think this would be really useful if you are actually out there um, doing the work um, of the document here, and maybe you have it uh, you know, going through your earphones, or you just have it playing through your, your phone speaker, so you can actually listen to it and perform the steps as you're doing it. Um, as you scan through the actual resource here, you can see this is going to be a very comprehensive step-by-step. Not all the resources will be that in depth, um, but a lot of them will give you just like a step by step and thank goodness for these warnings here too. Um, so that is our resource. It's a really quick look at the Chilton Library. Highly recommended if you want to start doing some work on your car. Um, gives you lots of different information um, and is just a really solid resource if you're interested.